Hi, this is Johnny Bergen with the Two Minute Chicago Blues Guitar Lesson. Today we're going to take a little trip to Houston. Um, I'm looking at this great tune by Lightning Hopkins. I kind of did my best with it there and sort of played a lot of the things that are in the song called Santa Fe Blues. Now he did this in E and he did it in A. Um, I'm looking at the one in A and this is a really neat one because it's in drop D tuning. And if any of you viewers out there know of some other uh, drop D tuning things that Lightning Hopkins may have done, I would love to be informed of that. So please let me know. It's pretty unusual, but I really like uh, playing in A with the drop D tuning. And by the way, let me tell you, I am in E flat. Um, I tuned down a half step just to get, just to kind of play along with the record. Um, this is, I'll put the YouTube link on it. This is from like the late 40s or early 50s. And it was reissued on Ken. It was originally an RPM 78. So uh, let's talk a bit of, about um, some of the lightning isms in, in this uh, song. And then it's interesting because he's playing a melody that he doesn't usually play. There's a, a minor third. And uh, I guess the main thing about kind of these mid and slow lightning songs is that there's not a continual chunk, 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 you know. And I should do it like this. There's not a chunk like this, like, like Robert Johnson and Big Bill Brunzi and so many others. It's more of a, the bass almost answers to trouble. You gotta trouble something and then you got bass, don't, you know, or, you know. So there's a lot of space, a lot of space. I mean, I have to actually have to make myself play less with my thumb to get that open, open desert feeling that Lightning Hopkins evokes. And, uh, you know, a lot of people play it here, and sometimes he plays it here. In this A position, you know, I was kind of an A pentatonic thing. But he plays it here. So this is out of like an A minor shape. And, and somehow or other, you've got to switch your fingers around, you know. This is sort of behind the A chord. You got five and three. And I'm, I'm getting to something here, so. You got to roll down to this E note. And so fingering, that's kind of tricky. You could do it like this. And then you just switch over and play the whole chord. But I kind of like to leave that A, that uh, this E note sustaining, so. So you can do that either either way you can, you can manage. And uh, the other thing, look at the right hand, the uh, Sometimes he'll go play it straight. It's almost like a T-ball walkerism where he'll play something with more of a flowing rhythm and then he'll play something with a straight rhythm. Like here's the straight rhythm. And then here's the flowing rhythm. I'm gonna use one stroke of my finger to get two notes. And then dig this. I'm gonna do something that he, he doesn't really go to the five, except during a, this, I hate to call it a, a guitar solo, it's more like a guitar commentary. Um, you know, Lightning Hobbins was kind of above guitar solos. I mean, he just worked in a different way. It's not like, okay, Lightning, here's your solo. It's not like that. So, uh, dig this. Sorry. This is your E, right? second finger of the D, of the low E string now. And then here's your four. Everybody understand that? This is like the guts of your, like this C shape here. That's been moved up, C, C sharp. So this is how he does the uh, four chord, right?
and then he'll even tie it up here. I think he goes here. I love the sparseness of it. So uh, the main ideas are playing here. Be really sparing with the left hand thumb. And then here's your four. And then this is like third fret on the D string, fifth fret on the on the uh, A E string. And then you play the melody, just follow the melody. This is kind of like out of a D7. The five is basically a one again, but you're playing the five like on top, you know, in the fifth fret of the B string. Okay, thanks a lot. Have fun with this tune and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this lesson. Have